bar as attaching the engine to the uh, stand. I bought this pack from Summit. Summit SUM-G1012M, which are these strong, they're metric, but they're 10 point something, 10.9. 10.9 are the same as grade eight in SAE. All right, so the big black brace for the engine stand, it's pretty heavy. And in order to get it lined up, I actually stuck my jack underneath it and use the jack as my second set of hands to lift it up right to where I wanted it. And I don't know whether these four are correct or not, but that's where I'm putting it. So that's that. Now I'm gonna make that, I'll lift that up on the stand, and I'll mate it to that, to that. Not the radiator, that. So, transition was pretty effortless. A little pushing, a little pulling, a little pushing, a little pulling, a little pushing, a little pulling. And it's on the engine stand, and the engine crane is put away. And let's see what happens next. I had to cut the grass. Monday, April 4th. Time to get, I've uh, been talking about them forever. Time to get these uh, uh, mount bolts off. And they're 15s. And they're coming. From both sides. Passenger side. Thus noted. Goes in those four bolts right there. And that will be on the list. But we're going to do... Uh, driver's side mounts. A, C, compressor, housing, bolts. 15. 15. It's coming off. It's a passenger side block. Passenger side rear block. Was that the crank sensor? Quite possibly. Don't remember. But it's going into a bag called crank sensor. Passenger rear of the block. Alright, this tool that has been so awesome is coming off. I'm going after these two guys next. This is right by the well filter on the what are we on? We're on the driver's side. Yeah, there's a water pump. So, driver's side rear. Well pump. I mean, well All right, it is the oil pan's turn. I'm supporting the oil pan with my jack. Because I don't know whether you're supposed to turn the engine upside down. I was thinking if I turn the engine upside down, oil will come spewing out everything else. So, I'm gonna do the oil pan next, supporting it with the jack. And I've got that ready in the event that I have spewage. Well, right or wrong, that ended up being a very gentle way of getting this thing off. It was very, very easy. And I don't think I spilled a drop of oil. So, uh, of course I emptied the oil a long time ago, but now we will be able to get the elusive bolt to the oil pump and get the oil pump off. I think he's next. So, not having a clue as to how difficult this is going to be, I'm going to rotate it around so I can work on the top instead of the bottom. See how this goes. Okay. Uh, it was tight, but not impossible. Um, pan caught most of the coolant that flew out of it. clean up here though. Uh, and then the next step is that SOB right there. And then his partner in crime right there to get the oil, is it oil sunk pickup? Alright, in the interest of being, in the interest of being agonizingly anal attentive. Shut up, bird. 
That's a 10. That's a 13. I'm gonna toss those in the same bag. All right, change of plans. Because that guy right there is the same as all of his friends. Which, I don't know what this thing is called. I don't know what this is called, the crankshaft protection plate. Whoa, whoa. You're in uncharted territory here. I don't know what the hell this stuff's called. So all those guys are going to go in a container together. And uh, Mr. Sump is being held on there as well. So he still hasn't let him go. Let him? Let him go. Well, stuff is flying off at a rate faster than ever before. So uh, I'm looking to reversing that around too so if I ever have to get to it again or if I ever have to get to the oil pump again it won't be so damn hard to get off we'll figure that one out later but oil pump is off we take the chain off might as well do that now well there's a bunch of nuts there and I'm gonna call them the crankshaft cover nuts whether that's right or wrong, that's what it does. Here's the crank. Well, here's a curveball. I've called about 10 automotive machine shops in my general area. Five of them, the numbers have been disconnected. I got a hold of two of them. One guy says that pretty much everybody's out of business. He's on a one-month backlog, and of the two that I talked to, neither one of them do reassembly because they don't want the hassle of a reassembly. I was kind of planning on leaving all these micro tolerances to a professional. I was not planning on rebuilding a short block myself. So as of today, April 6th, I'm kind of scared. Not to mention the fact that I fully anticipated a two-week backlog, but if they say a month, if they say a month, you know what that means. It means more than a fucking month. So, not sure what to do. It's another day. I'm trying to give it another go. Uh, but take a look at this. Transportation. I'm ready for transport to the machine shop. But it's on the engine stand. And the engine stand is, you can't tell, but it's below uh, the lift gate. So I'm going to have to put it back on the crane. Which means I'm going to have to flip it back over. Once I flip it back over, I obviously can't put it back down on this side. So it looks like I'm going to have to remove the mains and the crankshaft. So this is the mains. I have two bolts to down. And then they've got these nuts and studs or whatever they are. I'm not really sure. This is the way it looks. So I'm going to have to do some further disassembly to get everything out or to get it there that's where I'm at 